Hey guys, Christian Babcock here of 918 Media. Today I'm going to be doing an in-depth review of the Dead Ringer The Wheel Bow Sight. To start off, the wheel is a great sight. It's a four pin sight and it actually has an adjustable floater pin on the bottom, which I personally really enjoy. I really like the size of the pins on this sight. They're .19 size pins. I've shot a little bit bigger in the past and I really didn't enjoy it because it kind of, once you get at a certain size, they start to cover up the target a little too much when you're too close. And so um, I decided to elect with the 19 pins. I really am enjoying it. The sight actually does come with a light that plugs in right here. I elected to take mine off. I'm really not a huge fan uh, of the lights. I think they're bulky. A, a problem I did have with that is when I was screwing it in and after three or four shots, it was jiggling and making my bow rattle a lot. Uh, maybe that's just me, that's a personal preference. Maybe that won't be as big a deal for you, but that's something I elected to go with. If I have to use that light on my sight, I'm not really confident in taking a shot in those kind of conditions anyways. Something I liked about this sight too is about how far it's set off the riser. It's about a medium distance um, when sitting off the riser. There are sights that are going to be a little bit shorter. I like to go with one just a little bit longer, so I think it's a pretty good length. Another thing I wanted to talk about was the sight tape. The sight tape on these sights are really nice, and they come with a lot of different sight tape. Um, just a little bit about the usability. So if you want to mess with the pen on this, as you can see, uh, mine is set to 60. Um, that's just because I haven't messed with my sight tape in a while. It's actually supposed to be a 50. Um, but what you would do is you would go in here, you would unscrew this pin, and then on the back, in the back there is a dial that looks like this. And so that dial would allow you to rotate that sight up and down as far out as you want. So, it's so like now look something like that. Another really cool feature about the site is the top pin is a white illuminated pin. Um, it actually looks like it won't have the follicle, but in reality it does, the green follicle, but it kind of blends in with the white. But that pin glows in the dark. And also something that's really cool is how you adjust your sight tape on there. Your sight tape is glow in the dark too. This side actually helped me make the election to not go with a single pin side this year, which is something I was really considering. I wanted that extra flexibility, the ability to shoot out to those longer yardages without having a really, really clouded sight picture. I'm really not a huge fan of the seven, six, seven pin sights. And so I really wanted something with three, four, five pins at the max, but also something that I could reach out there and touch deer with. Something I gotta give props to Dead Ringer about is you don't have to choose between the usability of a fixed pin or the functionality of a single pin. Um, this sight is really truly a hybrid. Um, it allows you to get the best of both worlds. There is some downfalls to it, but I think overall it's gonna be a great sight for you guys. Now, a bit of a disclaimer. I think this is a great sight for hunters. I think this is a great sight for those people that um, are hunting whitetail, they're hunting turkey, they're having a lot of shots within 50 yards. Um, pushing out to 60, 70, those are, I think, will perform just fine, but I think you can get better performance out of a single pin sight. Dead Ringer doesn't offer a single pin option yet. I'm hoping they will. They actually just released a really cool new quiver. You guys should check that out on their website, deadringerhunting.com. I think this site is going to be a great site for you, especially for the price. It's only $79.99. Check it out at deadringerhunting.com. If you want to see more videos like this, definitely consider subscribing below, comment on this video what you would like to see, like this video, and stay tuned for more content.